Welcome back to Aratus, Lord of the Dead, folks. We are doing okay. Liches are dying like flies, but other than that, we're doing quite well. We are getting a lot of level 4 brains, so that's nice. So it's not too bad that they're dying, because we basically initially immediately get them up to le level 3 or 4 anyway. So, yeah. We did make this one with a better skull. So plus two initiative, plus one ward, plus six vigor, which is all very, very nice. Putting him up to eight initiative, meaning that we can use the light armor for him and for our banshee as well, which is at nine. And the bride is not at eight yet, but it will be with an item or something like that. Our... Dark Knight can get to 8 as well, here, so so that is all very, very nice. Now, I did notice that, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, we cannot, well, we can make a better armor, we can make some better blood, we can make some better flesh, so let's make those things so that we get our units or our minions, minions uh, a little bit tougher because we are going to be going into a boss battle rather soon actually let's just move up to this grave and get a minion here so i think we'll get the wraith uh, yeah let's get the wraith because that can fill in in our setup if we want and I think we can actually upgrade something with it as well yeah we can upgrade this with it we don't need to right now though is there anything else we can upgrade with a wraith no could upgrade this with a lost soul or a or a headless hunter no you need a wraith but don't really see the need to do that you need a bride but before we make anything else, let's get these it's no gold, things it's made so that we ah, the get smell of successful some nice stuff for them. Plus one ward, plus two initiative, plus six vigor. So that actually puts our bride at eight initiative as well. Very good. Then we can make some more armor or some better armor. So uh, skeleton will clean up this mess later. Okay. Oh my word. Plus one ward, plus two initiative, plus five luck. Very nice. And that's going on the Dark Knight, so that gets him to eight as well. We can also make some better flesh. It's no goal, but it will do. And behold my word. Plus three dread, plus six evasion, plus five luck. Very, very nice. I don't think we can make anything else right now. No. Okay, but so the bride is getting the flesh here, plus three dread, plus six evasion, plus five luck. Very nice for her. That's 20% luck she has, so very good chance of critting. And a bit more dread and evasion helps her out a lot as well. Then we have the blood for her as well, plus one ward, plus two initiative, plus six vigor. Actually, what does the lich take? Does that take? No. Banshee doesn't take blood either, and the Dark Knight doesn't take blood either. So the blood goes to her as well. Very nice. And that puts her at a initiative. Gives her another ward, so she has one ward. I thought she had one already. Oh, never mind. So she has one ward. She has the extra initiative and some extra vigor as well. Very good. Then the Dark Knight gets this armor. For a ward, two initiative, putting him at eight as well, and five luck, or a bit of a crit chance. But that does mean that all our units are at at least eight initiative, making this light armor extremely useful. Plus eight accuracy, plus eight evasion. Very, very, very good. Okay. 
We do have three of these mana crystals, so maybe we should take one into battle here, and then we'll take a Skullfall thing into battle for the boss. We have two scrolls of Skullfall. Okay. Actually, that might be very nice as well. Hmm. Let's take it embellishes my undead here. features, no. And oh, before we do that, there was. I don't really want to unlock that. Can't unlock anything here. Could unlock something here with either a headless hunter or a lost soul. But let's see if we can craft one of those. We can make a lost soul. And so let's make one of those. And not with the good stuff. Uh, Easy it is to deceive uh, the living. We will unlock this. Unholy and mace. stick the wraith in there. He's level four. Oh, that's the bad one because he has the uh, the debuff instead of the buff, which I really don't like. That was a mistake on my part. These guys are training. He's level three. We can get something, but we don't need to do that right now. So we are taking out a pretty darn good squad here. Pretty darn good squad. So hopefully we don't lose it. So let's jump into battle and see how it goes. Do not lose any units. We're going to lose units. We are going to lose units. Dang it. You stand up. You stand up. You wait. And you stick down a poison cloud here. Alright, he insta died, very nice. That helps take away the Geomancer's ward. Miss Miss Block, very nice. And he moves, so he attacks him. He gets into the cloud, moves. Very nice. Take away another ward from him. He's gonna stand up. And we're going to push you back in the cloud. He's insane now. Okay. We really need to kill this. Can we... No. Alright, let's do this. <coughs> Debuff them a bit. Then we'll push you. Ooh, my darling, kill! That was crit, nice. His ward is gone now. So well, that's good. We are gonna get Perish. crit there. Good. Now he is in the first position, which is really, really bad. But we don't really have any way to avoid that, so we're going to stand up. Nice. Miss, miss, miss ward. Outstanding. Okay. Here comes his thing. Oh, he went into a stance. Okay. Nice. Alright, you stand up there. You push him back. Nice. Been so some He's insane. Corpses. He takes damage from the cloud. And we're gonna crescendo here. And then we're going to put the cloud down in the same position, hopefully killing him. Ooh, yes. This one. Very nice. It's balance just as it died. Very, very nice. So, zero mana for this one because we have the 
mana crystal, but we don't really need to use it. We're basically at full health, so let's just uh, scream this guy to death. Or stare him to death, maybe. No. Or maybe cloud him to death. Yeah, wasn't cloud him to death. Okay. So, fully healthy squad after this battle. Very, very nice. I love it. So another brain, some blood, dust, skull, armor, rags, and architect souls. Good. This bride has been healed up. The Lich and the Dark Knight has been doing some more training, some armor, some dust, and some experience for Eratus, which means that we now have three talent points. So we can Through make our bride of Eratus better. Plus 10 luck, plus 10 evasion, and plus 10 accuracy. Outstanding. Our Banshee leveled up to level 5. That is outstanding too. So she can actually get one of these down here now. Oh, I think I want evasion. Magic attack deals 100% once to damage. Target has a 50% chance to skip their next turn. Interrupt stances. That's very nice. Target skip their next turn. Deals 150%. I would much rather have this one to interrupt stances, and it gives her some, some evasion as well, she's up to 26% evasion. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay. He is too experienced from leveling up. He is a long way from leveling up. She's one experience from leveling up. So this pride is now healed. She's actually higher level, but she has the good stuff. So I think we'll keep the level 3 bride out here for now. And get her up to level 4 as well. So I think all we need to do is go into the dungeon. We did get the grappling hook. Minions gains plus 4 luck, plus 4 accuracy, and plus 4 evasion. But... It's in the weapon slot, and we have the standard of darkness for 15% vigor restored after battle. So we're going to stick with that. And can we make anything higher level? No, not right now. So we're not going to do that. So we're going to go back into the dungeon. And we're going to get Eratus full mana. Because everyone else is healed up. So Maximum mana. And uh, then we're going to go into the next battle. And then it's the boss after that. So we do have this event going as, at the moment on this floor. So Eratus receives a bonus 25% chance to gain par parts after the battle. So that is very, very good. Let's jump into the battle here and hopefully not take too much damage so that we have uh, this fully healthy squad ready for the boss we do have still have the mana crystal so it costs zero to fully heal them so if we do take a lot of damage we can do that because we didn't lose it use it last time so you are going to stand up because there are going to be a lot of buffs going on here you're gonna wait you are going to stand up <laughs> That's fine. And we're going to stick down a cloud here. And this elite berserker. That's two elite berserkers they have. That is really, really scary. That's very scary. That is very, very scary. Okay. We are taking some damage here, so we will probably have to use the thing. Let's push through. Move him, he's insane, which means Berserk. Which is not great, actually. Let's stance up again. And you stance up. And you are gonna wait. You're gonna put down a cloud here. Just a fraction. Right, another insanity. Power. He's gonna 
Insane stance. He's insane as well. Which isn't necessarily good when it's the Berserkers because that extra damage they deal is terrifying. We're gonna use our thing next time. He got pulled out of his stance. We're gonna use this battle eternal. Blood and vigor. There we go. And we are going to I think push you. Because that moves both of those guys in the clouds. So they take a lot of damage. And they get buffed and stuff, which is annoying because the Dark Knight is out of his stance at the moment. Because of the Geomancer here. Let's stick down another cloud. Okay. Ow. You get back in your stance. You are going to Abyssal Hunger. And you are going to push. It would be so nice to be in the stance, but unfortunately, we're not. The Dark Knight stance would have dealt damage on every single one of these buffs. But the moving around is nice. We're taking a lot of damage from the clouds here. Man, that it would have been nice to be in the stance here. In the Dark Knight stance. Corruption. That would have been fantastic. You would have dealt so much death damage here. It's ridiculous. Okay. Oh, he wants to escape. He barely took any damage there. That's good. Oh, he's gonna take a lot of damage there. 50 crit. Oh. Don't kill my Dark Knight. Don't kill my Dark Knight. Your frail bodies fail you. The good thing here is that we can use this again, so we're going to do Blood that. And Cost vigor. us our mana, but it is what it is. New stance. New cloud. New stance. And you push. Didn't push because of the ward, unfortunately. Alright, nice block. I Jesus Christ! It would have been boring otherwise. There goes our lich. That was one hit kill. Well, two hit kill, but one turn kill. Man! You... I guess you're gonna scream then? You're gonna scream at him. Uh, and you're gonna push... him. He's gonna buff. We're gonna do a bunch of attacks, counter those buffs. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, Jesus Christ! That's both the Dark Knight and the... Uh, It's gone. The Dark Knight had the good armor. Man, this sucks. Let's push you out some more. Thirty-nine. We're gonna lose this. Army. Ooh, I hope there will still there, be there enough left to reanimate. Man, I actually think. It might be better to do this. Ooh, I don't think it would be this easy. Uh. 
Ooh, look at that. 68 damage on a hit. 68. Ridiculous. Wipe out right before the boss. Death has been denied. For now. Ridiculous, man. Ridiculous. Okay, bride. There. And a banshee. At least we have an equivalent kind of squad, except that. They don't have all the good uh, parts on them. Get back to battle. Which really, really sucks. I expect results. Give you My enemies there. are in for a nasty surprise. Hey, we don't really have parts, but we do have some. Let's see. We have a spare Dark Knight. And that's about it. So we can make a bride. The heart beats only for me. We can make a I lich. Crafted it that way. We can make a banshee. can make a banshee, we're going to make a banshee. You will learn to enjoy your wretched existence. Okay. You and you get in there. And you get in there. Okay. Alright, let's try this again, shall we? At least uh, two of them are dead already and the others are more or less dead. So that's something. You hollow stare him. And scream at him. One by Twice one, died. life vanishes from this world. Press him out. Stress him out some more. Stress him out some more. There we go. Mop up the okay. core. I'd hate to see plants using Humanarium it token for a berserker. And some stuff. They, they have been training. Actually, I should have given them brains. I have brains, right? So, let's... Give you the level four brain. Whoops. I'm gonna give you the level four brain and give you this now, one. Prove yourself worthy of my investment. And plus ten vigor, I think. Actually, serve me well, that. my minion. And let's give you some armor. My enemies are in for a nasty surprise. Okay. Where was she? Down here. These guys, we're not gonna give brains now because they are already level 2. So they're just gonna have to keep training. Okay. So. It's the boss battle. Let's end the episode by hopefully killing the boss here. I should have brought some a skull fall or a mana thing in for this, but I didn't, so it's too late. I was a little bit too hasty there. Okay, so I've never fight, fought this guy before, so I have no idea how he works. So we have a supportive pylon which does not attack, it looks like. 
I guess it does some defense thing. Then we have an offensive pylon. 17 to 17 damage and 100 health. No armor or anything. Then we have a defensive pylon. 15 to 15 damage, 5 armor, 5 resistance, and 100 health. And then we have the inventor here, 99 armor, 99 resistance, what the? And 12 to 12 damage. Okay, so there's no point in attacking this guy, I guess. We're gonna have to attack these guys. And that means physical damage. So let's start by taking out the supportive pylon. Oh, we can. Let's start by the offensive pylon then. Let's see, do you actually... Let's do that. You are going to... As well. Nice shot. Nice 40 crit. Sweetie. And you are going to Carve open their hearts. Okay. Ow. Not too bad. He heals him up. Okay. Let's move you back. The stance isn't going to do much, but I want her back there so that the, uh, the bride she can uh, set stuff on fire. All right, that thing's almost dead. The fraction nice of script. my power, and she is going to. As worthless as you were in okay. life, you will be worth something so in that's death. One pylon down. Okay, he skips his turn. He is going to kill do my that again. Kill. Very nice. And you are going to magic attack. And you are going to buff, I guess? Yeah. It's buff. Doesn't really matter, but... It's better than doing nothing. How? 36 crit? He's gonna lose his turn. He's gonna lose his turn. We need to get two of those. Let's set that on fire. Oh, it's immune to fire, unfortunately. He can't do a damn thing. Not a damn thing, so let's just buff again. It, I guess, yeah. We need to get these things killed. Look at that. Man, they're stunning us con constantly. Get back into the stance there. You... Uh, stop attacking him. <laughs> Jesus! That missed. Uh, yeah, let's just dance up. You are you know what, let's buff her. Get a bit of extra mana on him. You're gonna attack. Stop attacking him! Twice in a row. Three times in a row, I think, actually. Dang it. Okay. 
stop. That's four times in a row, I think. It attacks him now. I want... Gratis to get some mana so that we can heal these guys up. Extinction of life! Okay. You just dance up. You can't do anything anyway. Now that goes the Lich. And we need to do this one more time. In order to get enough mana. So that we can use this. Blood and vigor. And you and these are all fully healed. Nice shot, sweetie. Good crit. And he is not taking damage whatsoever. Not even a little bit. This is bad. Let's just say that this is bad. Let's take out this defensive pylon if we can. I hope there will still be enough left to reanimate. <laughs> How? We really need to keep off him. Plus 25% to damage times 3, so that's I guess 75%, and an upgrade plus 50%, so he does a crap ton of damage. He does a crap ton of damage, and we can't debuff. So, Kill, my darling. Kill. Basically, all we can do is this. If the Lich hadn't attacked the Inventor four times in a row, then I think we would have been much better off. He's doing no damage. Let's put some hunger here. At least that's something. <coughs> Ow. I don't think we have a chance. I honestly believe that this is as far as we go in this one. It will take yeah. more than death to stop my legions. This is as far as we go on this one, I, I believe. Both skipping turns, we can basically just watch our Minions die now. Okay. That's... It doesn't really matter what we do. <laughs> this is both funny and sad. Both funny and sad. Look at this. None of them are taking any damage. Well, that one is taking a little bit. Okay. Seven damage more. Yay! 
now. He's debuffed, stunned, so she's stunned. This is so funny. Oh my okay, hordes are without the dark knight, number. So we can't do any damage anymore at all. None. I still think it was a good squad, but we were unfortunate that the Lich attacked the Inventor four times and not one of the pylons here. That certainly didn't help. I think the key is to just kill pylons and that will... Uh, Tear down his health, maybe, or something, or removes his, remove his his uh, armor and resistance, or something like that. The dead can be raised. My armies okay. can be restored. That sucked. Let's see. Do what do we have? We have a lich. We have a, and we have that. We have that. Do we wanna... I mean, the Banshee is no use anyway, so... We might as well take a skeleton out or something. Or something like this. You are gonna get... Yeah, the cloud doesn't matter, really. But we're going to grab this now, one. prove yourself worthy of my investment. We have a brain for the skeleton. Yeah. Let's give the skeleton a brain. And let's use this stun thing. Expect results. And Serve that. me well, my minion. Okay. Then we will use. That? Now I will make mortals tremble before me. Well, even more than Let's previously. try. <laughs> Let's try. One of the chief sponsors of the mining complex beneath the human castle, he thus bears a great deal of responsibility for freeing Aratus from his eternal prison. Not that anyone would dare remind him of this fact, since his keen mind has been deemed invaluable by the alchemist's guild. After all, few can actually calculate the precise amount of explosive power needed to clear a tunnel without causing a cave-in. But now, he's, now that he is personally forced to try to salvage this venture, he has turned his great intellect to far more warlike pursuits. Okay, I forgot to read, read, read this last time, so... Is it now? Alright, so we have the ability to restore to full vigor once. So, I think we're going to start with the offensive pylon again. Now that's going to leave a mark. Nice crit. Smite. Okay. And you okay, actually attack the right one. We don't have the ability to debuff him, but... <coughs> Ouch. Okay... That's my turn again. Okay, so that's gone now. And you... Start to run this quarter pylon. You go for a lady. Stop attacking him! Last time it had 25% chance to attack him every time and it did it four times in a row. Four times in a row. Okay, let's epistle hunger. And... There. And another. Okay, at 
least it didn't attack him this time. Ow. So it's time to use our heal now. It's absolutely time to use our heal now. So let's do that. Oh man, it heals up all units. Damn it. Okay. Should have killed this thing first then. I thought it was only the minions. My darling, kill. The cover to full bigger. We just screwed ourselves ourselves a little bit here, or I screwed us, I should say, I guess. Hmm. We're just gonna do this. Okay, ah, hit the right your one. Frail bodies thirty. She's done. He's back to full health. Damn it. So yeah, every time he summons a pylon, he loses some health. So we need to kill the pylons as fast as possible. To keep his health going down. Okay. Now it's his turn. Oh. Oh. That wasn't too bad. Wasn't too bad. I need to kill those two. You can abyssal hunger. This is my I took that out. Entertainment. Good. And then you can smite. Actually, let's do this. Can't be stunned, but got him forward so that he can use his mediocre shot, strike or whatever it's called, which ignores armor. Stop attacking him! That really bugs me. We need to take these things out because they are healing him, and we don't want that. Nice. One more nice. for the stockpiles. That's one down. You, the sudden strike, it's called. Norse armor and pluck. You do that. And you do this. Nice. You hit the right one. Okay. So he lost some, a lot of health there. Summoning another one. Ow. He can't heal up, so that's just not a possibility. Let's hopefully take out another one. You are going to use the chest piercer here. Savor these last few heartbeats. We're going to sun strike. Nice crit. This is what a thousand years of evolution looks like. Yeah, pathetic. Okay. okay. So this is kind of working. This is kind of working. He takes a lot of damage there. Has he lost one? He needs to summon a new one. Just gonna keep killing these pylons. So annoying that he attacks the, the inventor and not the pylons. He's gonna get hit three times now. Gonna go here. Ashes nice, kill that. Dust 
dust. And then the Lich is actually going to kill the skeleton. And then we'll summon a new one. But it will heal up everyone 40 bigger. So it'll heal up himself and the bride. I suppose I can craft a few. There we go. Okay, he's down to less than half health now. So that's good. You're gonna have to use the mesh here. Which I guess is okay. You... You need 80... Wrath to do that, so we're gonna have to wait for that. Okay, he's up to a bit more than half health now. These things are healing him like crazy. You're gonna go with the flames again. This will be your end. We're gonna go with this, because I want to summon that skeleton. Okay, that one's almost down. <coughs> but he's almost healed as well. Look at that. Look at all that healing. There you go. Do that. You. Do that. Nice. First mistake. Opposing me? So you summon a skeleton. Your last. <laughs> basically at the you same health as he was before. <laughs> We're not doing enough damage. That's the problem. We are just not doing enough damage. I think maybe it was a mistake killing the other two. We should have just focused on this defensive pylon and just left the other two alive. Because having three of these heal him all the time is is a bit overwhelming. I mean, we we, we basically can't kill him because they are healing him so much. Oh yeah, we might as well, uh, maybe the Dark Knight can get to heal, if we're lucky. Uh, we're not lucky. You we are not lucky. Me. Dang it. Okay, so this battle is basically lost again. Nice shot, sweetie. But at least now I understand how it works. And in the next run, I think we'll do a lot better. I did like the composition of, of our uh, battle squad. But I, I think it can be better somehow. I just need to figure it out. But we're definitely gonna give it another go, right? So we're gonna start another run in the next episode. Because we, we obviously can't win this. There's no chance. Yeah. Delivered. Did kill another pylon though, so that's nice. He takes a hundred damage. From a pylon being killed, he has 540 health. So, how much do I heal? I wonder. Okay. He's almost back to full health now. Ridiculous! 
And there we go. I will undo Death, this defeat, defeat, and misery. Okay. So, yeah. We failed at the boss level 2. Uh, or the floor 2 boss. But, uh, yeah. We'll give it another go in the next episode. We will start over on a new run. And try and maybe do a little bit of a different configuration. But though I think this one worked very well up until that boss. But, uh, yeah. We'll see what happens. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.